Coming from Australia and, and being able to come back here it gives me a lot of perspective. It helps me tap into the culture a lot better than what I can in Australia. It's just nice to touch, touch the ground on, at home and help tap into that culture again, you know. I think it's really important for, for us to do as Māori. Uh, my name is William Singe. My iwi is Natipuro. My whanau is from Tiki Tiki, Rangituki Road. Love it there. I grew up in Sydney, Australia. The way it was actually about two of my my mates, my best friends. They really contributed to my upbringing and you know my shaped my identity. I don't think Fano necessarily has to just be blood related. You know they have contributed to who you've become. That's really what Fano is about. You know, no matter what, where we are, what we're going through, like it'll always be you and me, and we'll always be brothers. You know, Kotawa Tawa is like a perfect way of expressing, you know, the meaning of the song and summarizing it pretty much. I think it's super important for initiatives like Waitai Anthems to be pushing the culture forward into the mainstream. I mean, how long was it suppressed for? But it's so important, especially for the world to see how beautiful the culture is. Because even living over in LA and America, I was making sure everybody knew what Māori was by the time I left. Because for me, I'm so proud to be of Maori blood and, and descent, so I really want to see just how far we can take it, and I'm I'm really grateful to be a part of that. My song has just come out as part of Waiatai Anthems, and I really hope you guys enjoy it.